Cigarette filters are composed of plastic fibers. They trap a toxic payload of dangerous chemicals. When discarded improperly, toxins leach into the marine environment through stormwater runoff or blown by wind directly into waterways. The plastic fibers persist for up to 25 years. They are found in the stomachs of fish, birds, sea turtles, and other marine creatures like oysters and clams. Something needs to be done. But what? The goal of the Vote With Your Butt project was to test whether friendly competition would entice smokers to vote by placing their cigarette butts in a receptacle instead of throwing them on the ground. The butt boxes, modeled after ballot bins developed by Hubbub in the UK, were located in areas where butts might end up in a nearby water body or in a storm drain that emptied into Tampa Bay. We also hoped to raise awareness of the potential harm of improperly discarded butts to the marine environment. Volunteers from Blue Turtle Society assembled to assemble the boxes. They also scouted for locations with high butt on the ground density and then contacted municipalities and businesses about hosting a butt box. The city of Gulfport, Florida was the first to express interest in the boxes. Blue Turtle Society was invited to make a presentation to city council. The mobile butt box, known as the Roly Polar, made its first public appearance and became an instant star. Gulfport said we could install three boxes along heavily traveled Shore Boulevard. Butt Box 1 was installed in mid-June of 2016 near the Gulfport Casino. Since 2016 was an election year, the first two voting choices were Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. This first box proved wildly successful in attracting votes at first. Gulfport asked that installation of Butt Box 2 be delayed until after July 4th, so it was installed in early August next to Williams Pier. Gulfport was gearing up for Gecko Fest, so Butt Box 2 voting options catered to the friendly rivalry between Gulfport and St. Petersburg with a gecko and a pelican. This box was also initially very popular. Butt Box 3 installation was delayed. A friend of Blue Turtle Society connected us with Creative Clay, an organization that works with, among others, adult artists with some disability. Creative Clay is located next to a nightclub, the Enigma, and the Enigma has outdoor sidewalk tables that happen to be next to a storm drain. We gave Creative Clay's artist license to decorate the butt box however he or she wanted, expecting that the box would be decorated. Much to our surprise, the artist painted the plexiglass on the front of the box, and it was a great idea! The Enigma was happy to host a butt box, so box 3 was installed at the end of August. Voting options on the Gulfport boxes changed often, but the Enigma options changed only once when the artist painted swimmers Michael Phelps and Greg Luganis. The boxes were removed in February of 2017. Total butt collection from boxes and the ground was 5,934 butts. Of those, 4,802, or 81%, were from the boxes. 1,132, or 19%, were picked up from the ground by walking 30-foot transects around the boxes when they were emptied. Collection from all three boxes started out high, but tapered off over time. The Enigma box voting was the most consistent, and the number of butts on the ground went up after the box was removed, even though the establishment has ashtrays on the outdoor tables. Did the butt boxes work? Volunteers collecting votes were usually approached by people who wanted to know about the boxes or by people who wanted to talk about their use of the boxes and even their stuffing of the ballot box with butts from the ground. So the boxes were a great conversation piece, but conservation piece? The butts from this project were sent to TerraCycle.com where they will be recycled into plastic pallets and other industrial items. This program is free for individuals, including the shipping. The box requires some time and effort to maintain. Plus, look around. Butts are everywhere. In general, you'd have to have a box every 50 feet just to keep up. But should all hope be extinguished? Butt boxes seem to be more effective as point source prevention in areas where groups of smokers gather, such as bars or outside workplaces. Deployment of butt boxes in this manner could raise awareness among smokers who would then look for a receptacle when they were not near a butt box. The use of tools like the boat with your butt box are necessary to inspire behavioral changes that will ultimately reduce the threats to the marine environment.